Welcome to this Invoice Ninja tutorial for beginners. In this guide, you'll learn exactly how to use Invoice Ninja for your business to create invoices, make payments, yeah, send out invoices, manage your clients, etc, etc. So let me walk you through the software. So first you want to log in on Invoice Ninja and then you'll be in your uh, kind of account. And yeah, in this case, I'm using the free plan. So if you're using the free plan as well, you'll be able to do everything I show you in this video. So here we have a dashboard. We have also a plus icon so we can add some of these metrics here as well to our to our dashboard. But in this case, I'll leave it as it is. On the left, we have our first section that called clients. You can already see I've created a new client in this case. In order to create a new client, click on a new client or you can also import clients with a CSV. If I click on new clients, we can enter in all of these information like the name, the number of that client, which could be uh, yeah, some kind of number. You can also create a group. In this case, we don't have any groups. We don't have any users. We don't have any ID number. And yeah, you can see there's lots of information that you can kind of fill in. You can even uh, enter in public and private notes for this user uh, contact contact information, email address, phone number. So all of that can be added to this client. Then if you click on save, you can see that we've successfully created this client. So we have some contact information here that we've entered in, <clears throat> as well as the paid to, date uh, paid to date balance, outstanding balance and credit balance. So here we basically can manage all of our clients. If you now take a look at products, you can basically import your products into Invoice Ninja or basically set up your products here as well. So if you're selling an item called item hashtag one, I'll leave out the description and the price is uh, like 99.99. Yes, 99.99. And then we can also choose the default quantity, which is one, the maximum quantity, which is a yeah, thousand, for example tax category is digital products, image URL, we don't have an image URL in this case. Click on save and we have created a product. So you can see we have this product now. We even have more actions so you could edit your product, you can create a new invoice for this product, create a new purchase order, clone this product, archive, archive or delete this product. We will need, uh, you will need to set up products in Invoice Ninja because I'll show you how we will actually use them to create invoices in just a second. So here, when we go to invoices, you can see we have an invoice here. If I create a new invoice, you will need to select a client, which is this one that we've created before. We can select the invoice date, the due date, the partial deposit, if a partial deposit has been made, the invoice number, which could be 10,001, the uh, PO number, the discount, uh, which can be either an amount or a percentage amount, and then we will need to add an item. Now, the item can be added from here. So, this is the item that we've created before with 99.99, quantity is one, description is none in this case. So, we have added this one item now because this client is purchasing this one item. You can see the subtotal, total, paid to date, and balance due. You can add public notes that the client can see as well. You can add private notes. You can add terms of conditions into here, which is very important actually. Then a footer, documents like the invoice kind of PDF, but you can see that gets created automatically from Invoice Ninja, which is awesome. Then some settings like the project, this belongs to the user, the exchange rate, the vendor, then the design. So you can, for example, select clean, and you can see this is the clean design. If you select modern, this is the modern design. Um, there's not much that has changed actually, but you can change the, the, the design um, for that invoice here as well. And yeah, then you have the PDF that you can download and send to the client. So now if we click on save, we have created this invoice right here and we're in the invoice settings. And if we now go back to invoices, you can see we have this invoice right here. If you click on more actions, you can edit this invoice, email this invoice, view PDF, print PDF. You can see there's lots of things that you can do with this. You can mark this as paid, for example, enter in a payment, a partial payment. 
but let's let's say this client actually paid paid us and we marked this as paid you can see successfully marked invoices as paid so now if i refresh this status is updated um, to paid and we even should be able to see this in our dashboard we can see yeah yeah we can see invoices were paid payments and yeah expenses in this case we don't have any expenses as well as uh, we don't have any uh, outstanding expenses so you will be able to see this in your dashboard as well now let's get back to invoices yeah actually that's everything you need to know about invoices then you have recurring invoices this, these are monthly subscriptions then you have payments you can add payments in here if someone pays you select the client select the amount that you received 99.99 .99, for example select the invoice this belongs to if there's like an any outstanding invoice then select the credits select payment date payment type see there's lots of payment types cash up for example transaction reference private notes if you, do you want to send an email to the client about this and do you want to convert the currency so you'll be able to enter in payments in here then you can create quotes if you click on create quote it's the same procedure you enter in these details click on save and you have created a new quote then we have credits we have projects in here it's the same you can click on new project we have tasks if there are any uh, kind of tasks uh, you want to add for example you could even transform this to a kanban view then you have a little kanban view within voice ninja where you can also move tasks around then we have vendors purchase orders expenses expenses are for example your rent recurring expenses yeah rent is as, as said before and then we can even create reports then we have transactions which is almost the same as payments transactions are just general not only like payments to you but also payments to someone else for example you can even add your own bank account if you would like to select if you would like to select one and you can add or capture these transactions as well and in our settings page you can see there's like a there's lots of stuff in our settings page so we can change the company name we can give this an id number uh, value added tax number website email company phone all of that stuff logo address defaults documents just kind of all of these company details then we have user details it's the same that's just for your personal user account localization payment settings tax settings product settings task settings etc etc and then we have advanced settings like the invoice design so here you can actually design your invoice if you change this to modern you can see it looks different if you change this to plain you can see it looks like this if you change it to bold it looks like this plain looks pretty good to me actually so i would choose this personally here that's just for the uh, invoice design then you can change the quote design credit design page design etc etc change the primary color secondary color to your business colors so if your business color is like uh, or some kind of orange as well as some kind of purple like this and you select a modern i think it was the modern one yeah you can see uh, that invoice will be displayed in co company colors so yeah you can see lots of lots of kind of variables lots of uh, lots of things to change so if we go back uh, actually let's save this and we go back into our settings you can see we have invoice design, custom fields, generated numbers, client portals, email settings, payment links, schedules, user management. There's lots of stuff in here. So I kind of just recommend you to kind of click through this and see what you need, see what you don't need and kind of change the stuff uh, depending or customize it to your company. And as I said, the most important things on the left is probably like the clients, invoices, expenses, recurring expenses or recurring invoices. And every time you log in, you'll be able to see those things in your dashboard. If people have paid any kind of new invoices, you'll see the recent activity, recent payments, etc., etc. And that's basically everything you need to know about Invoice Ninja. Now, if this video was helpful, make sure to like the video and thank you for watching.